This problem says, let f of x equal x to the power of 6x. Use logarithmic differentiation to determine the derivative. So we can't use the power rule on this type of a function because we have a variable in the exponent as well. And they tell us that we're supposed to use logarithmic differentiation. So in the first step, let's write, instead of writing f of x, let's write y is equal to x to the power of 6x. And then the idea of logarithmic differentiation is to take the natural log of both sides next. So we're going to take the natural log of y, and we're going to set that equal to the natural log of x to the power of 6x. Next, we can use the rule um, of logarithms, which is that if you have a log base b of x to the power of n, we can kick that exponent to the front and write it as n log base b of x. And remember that natural log is a form of a log, it's just a log base e, which um, we can use this formula to then kick the 6x down to the front so we can simplify. So this makes the natural log of y is equal to 6x natural log of x. So notice that I haven't taken the derivative yet. I'm just simplifying so that I can use one of my, one of my derivative rules. So from here, now we can use the product rule because we have the 6x, which is multiplied by the natural log of x, to take the derivative. So in this next step, we're going to take the derivative. Remember that y is a function of x, so when we take the derivative of y, we have to multiply that by y prime using the, um, the, chain, the idea of the chain rule or just general log, um, implicit differentiation idea. So the natural log, uh, the formula when we take the derivative of a natural log is that we have derivative of natural log of x that is equal to 1 over x. So using that rule, the derivative of natural log of y is 1 over y, but using the chain rule, we have to multiply that by y prime. So that's equal to, next we're going to use the product rule. So the product rule says the derivative of f times g is equal to the derivative of the first times the second plus the derivative of the second times the first. So we'll start by doing the derivative of the first, which the derivative of 6x is 6, times the second, so times natural log of x, plus the derivative of natural log of x, which is 1 over x, times the first, which is 6x. So simplifying, this x on bottom will cancel out with this x on top, and that will leave us with 1 over y times y prime is equal to 6 ln x plus 6. From here, we want to solve for y prime, so multiplying by y on both sides, we get that y prime is equal to, we can put the y in the front, y times 6 ln x plus 6. Also notice that we have a definition of y in just terms of x. So we can rewrite the y as x to the power of 6x. So we can write this as y prime is equal to x to the power of 6x times, whoops, that should be a 6, 6 ln x plus 6. So that would be our derivative. That would be our f prime of x, because remember, f of x is the same thing as y. So that makes x to the power of 6x times 6 ln x plus 6 would be our derivative. And if we plug in 1 in for all of our values of x, that would make that f prime of 1 is equal to 1 
to the power of 6 times 1, which is just 6 times 6 ln of 1 plus 6. So simplifying 1 to the power of anything is just 1, so that's not going to change anything. Then we have 6 times ln of 1 is equal to 0. So that'll make 6 times 0. So that whole term goes to 0 plus 6. So we have 1 times 6, which is 6. So I hope this video step-by-step -step solution was helpful for you. If you have any questions about this particular video, feel free to leave them in the comments. Or if you have another homework question that you'd like to see a video like this um, done on, leave those, leave those types of questions in the comments as well. Thanks for watching.